Apple have just announced a brand new Mac Mini, and despite being half the size, it certainly doesn't lack in power and features. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Let's go. Yes, the rumors were true. Unlike the old design of the Mac Mini we've had for more than a decade, the new Mac Mini is just five by five inches. It's a little taller. It's kind of like a little mini Mac Studio. Let's dive in and see what it's all about. So apart from the new look and the smaller size, what else is new with the Mac Mini? Well, you now get two USB-C ports and your headphone jack on the front. And then around back, you get three Thunderbolt ports as well as the HDMI, the network and the power from the previous model. And you'll also notice no USB-A ports. Like on the new iMac, everything now is USB Type-C. And Apple have completely redesigned the underside of the Mac Mini for ventilation. The older models had just a small ventilation area here. Now, the whole bottom area is available for cooling and keeping the system running well. Now, with all these changes, the good news is the price hasn't changed. It still starts at $599. You can pre-order right now. It'll be available from the 8th of November. All right, time to dive into the nerdy stuff the performance. So the good news is you now get 16 gigabytes instead of the old eight gigabytes as your base memory. And as someone who has a Mac mini with eight gigabytes of RAM, this is very good news. As far as the chip goes, there are two options. There's the M4 and the M4 Pro. So if you are a pro user and you don't quite want to go for something like the Studio or the Mac Pro, this could be a great option for you if you need that little bit of extra power. Going from the M4 to the M4 Pro takes you from a 10 core CPU and GPU all the way up to 12 core CPU and 16 core GPU. So if you're looking for that extra power, the M4 Pro is probably for you. On the M4 Pro, there's even the option to go up to a 14 core CPU and add up to 64 gigabytes of memory. So you can really give yourself a powerhouse Mac mini. And storage on the Pro version now goes all the way up to eight terabytes. And the other key difference with the M4 Pro is that the ports on the back are Thunderbolt Five. They're a faster port and it's the first Mac to ever have Thunderbolt 5. So if you've got fast SSD storage devices and you want to connect them up, this is the option for you. So who is this for? Who should update to the new Mac Mini with M4? Well, if like me, you've got a Mac Mini with M1, especially the eight gigabytes of RAM, this will be a pretty big improvement. You're going to see some performance gains, but especially if you're using an Intel-based older Mac Mini, yeah, this is going to give you some amazing performance improvements and you'll really notice the difference. So what do you think? Let me know down in the comments if you'll be checking out the new Mac Mini M4. And while you're there, check out all the other videos here on the channel. Make sure you subscribe because we've got more Mac announcements happening just around the corner. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.